Today, I'll try to convince you that collaboration between human scientists and artificial intelligence is the best bet for the future of science. But first, let's have a mental exercise together. Imagine being on a week-long holiday, on an island with 50 restaurants. Every evening, you have to pick a restaurant where to eat from a variety of possible alternatives. You'd like to eat every day at your favorite place, wouldn't you? But since you don't know which one it is, you must discover it. To succeed, you'll have to be explorative enough on the first days and then stick with the best restaurant tried so far. As humans, we face decision-making problems like this every day. From selecting good food while doing groceries, finding out which job makes us satisfied, as well as understanding which sport makes us happy. In all these cases, we must discover something that maximizes a particular objective of ours, usually happiness. And to achieve so, we need to sufficiently explore the available options, whether trying a new food, job, or sport, to discover something better than what we already know. Nonetheless, sometimes we make unavoidable mistakes. Trying out something new means jumping into the unknown, which could lead to the so-called regret, the feeling we all have when a new choice turns out to be bad. But regret can also happen when we stick with a suboptimal choice for too long. After having gained enough information by exploring, we can finally exploit it to make optimal decisions for our life. But balancing the right amount of exploration versus exploitation is a hard problem, usually called the exploration-exploitation dilemma. Now, imagine being a scientist, more in particular, a chemist. This time, instead of having seven days to find your favorite restaurant, you only have seven experiments to discover the best drug against a particular disease. Like you did with the restaurants, you could start exploring and then adapt based on the outcomes of previous experiments. Although challenging, it looks like a doable problem. But unfortunately, there's something I forgot to mention. The space of possible drugs does not have 50 elements, not 100, not 1,000, not even 10 million, but approximately 10 to the power of 60 many. This looks like an immense search space, considering that the number of atoms in the universe is around 10 to the power of 80. All of this may sound overwhelming. Human scientists have been making breakthroughs since the beginning of time. How come that the human mind is not sufficient anymore? What is happening? Well, over the last centuries, scientists have built as much understanding of nature as possible. They have accomplished this by reducing systems to a few variables and building mathematical understanding of them. Nonetheless, we still don't fully grasp most aspects of nature. Most systems around us are complex and cannot be reduced to a few variables. As a consequence, human scientists are left with a level of complexity they cannot deal with. Many of the scientific challenges humanity is facing right now deal with complex systems. To design novel drugs, scientists have to choose experiments among an immense amount of possible alternatives. The same holds for vaccine and protein design, as well as for material discovery and the control of nuclear fusion processes. Even though these problems are of fundamental importance for mankind, tackling them requires solving a decision-making problem in a huge search space. But as humans, we cannot even visualize this many alternative. We cannot memorize our beliefs about every single experiment, as well as we cannot reason on them. When we try to solve these problems, we could make awful decisions and risk having immense regret. But unfortunately, this time, the regret is not about pasta without salt or overcooked steak. 
In this case, making bad decisions means selecting the wrong experiments to carry out, which could lead to remarkably high economic costs, extremely long waiting times, and the possibility of getting stuck and not discovering anything at all. The hard truth is that as humans, when faced with challenges of this complexity, we feel lost in front of a sea of possibilities, as fascinating as sublime as unsolvable. But now that we understand the limits of the human mind, can we think about a possible alternative to solve these problems? Any ideas? What about using artificial intelligence? Human scientists could collaborate with AI agents that are able to handle such high complexity. But now the question is, how do we build these AI agents? Well, over the last 40 years, many researchers have connected ideas from a multitude of areas, giving rise to a discipline called reinforcement learning. I do research in this area, and I believe it has the potential to change the way we do science. In reinforcement learning, we study how to design agents that, by taking actions and perceiving the environment feedback, can learn behaviors to solve tasks defined by humans in physical or digital system. So far, these agents have been mostly applied to solve complex games, such as chess and Go, leading to some of the most impressive AI success stories of the last decades. In this case, the agent's actions are the possible moves of the game. The environment feedback is the opponent's move, while clearly the agent goal is to win the game. But how do we turn a reinforcement learning agent like this into an artificial scientist? Well, at every moment in time, the agent, instead of selecting the next move, will select the next experiment to carry out, like testing a specific drug. And instead of observing the opponent's move, we'll observe the experiment outcome. Then, based on all previous interactions, it will select the next best experiment. This decision will be based on a task given by a human scientist, like finding the best drug for a certain disease or curiously exploring a molecular space to gain understanding. These agents, compared with human scientists, have almost unbounded memory capabilities and computing power. They can take all previous experiments into account and update their beliefs about every possible alternative. In practice, this can be done by using probabilistic models that represent the agent's belief and uncertainty about a specific experiment, like a drug. And after an experiment is carried out, the agent can update the model to integrate the new information gain, and then select the next best experiment by following a decision-making rule. By exploiting this framework, AI researchers are now trying to design agents that can automatically solve the exploration-exploitation dilemma and minimize regret even in huge search spaces, like the ones we've seen before. Making better decisions, like selecting better experiments, now means reducing times and costs for scientific discovery. And in certain cases, it could entirely flip the outcome of our research effort from failure to success. Recently, some scientists have successfully applied reinforcement learning methods to a handful of scientific discovery problems. Even so, many obstacles are left along the way, and some may be impossible to overcome. The task of scientific discovery is much more complicated than solving games, and some researchers, including myself, are now trying to extend the foundations and algorithmics of reinforcement learning to better capture complex goals aligned with this ambitious quest for scientific discovery. If we succeed in this endeavor, human scientists and AI agents, hand in hand, will shed light on reality at a pace that was previously unimaginable. These could have tremendous implications for our society. Nonetheless, the transition to human-AI collaboration may not be simple to understand 
and accept. Acknowledging our mental limitations could make us feel scared and lost. Two possible futures await us. One in which the fear of the unknown will prevail. And another one where we will find the courage to turn fear into excitement and guide mankind towards a new scientific era, where with the help of AI agents, we'll be able to save more lives, become more sustainable, and reach new levels of awareness and well-being. Which of these two possible futures will become a reality depends entirely on our beliefs and our actions as citizens and scientists. It's time we all take a proactive stance on understanding artificial intelligence. If you don't know what AI is, don't wait. Dive into a course, a book, or a conversation. If you're a scientist, integrate these AI agents into your workflow. Give it a try. And if you are an AI researcher, then have faith. Continue overcoming the obstacles along the way and enjoy the ride. Thank you.